this is Mato. And in this video, I will show you the game between Amalia Murillo and Maria Kursova. This is the game from Chess Olympia, the women's section, that was played in Tromso in 2014. Amalia Murillo, player with white pieces, is from Spain, and Maria Kursova is a citizen of Armenia. Amalia Murillo started d4. Kursova played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, b6. Kursova wants to play queen's Indian defense. e3, bishop to b7, bishop to d3, d5. Amalia Murillo castle kingside, bishop to d6. And Murillo played queen to c2. Knight to c3 and b3 are the two most played moves. We have queen to c2. Kursova castle kingside. Knight to c3, a6, perhaps preventing knight to b5 attacking the bishop. b3, knight from b to d7. a4, d takes on c4, b takes on c4. Black has done well so far, do you agree? But how to continue? What would you do now if you had black pieces? Maria Kusova played the best move. Bishop takes knight, damaging the pawn structure around white king. Pawn takes bishop, e5, opening up the position. D takes on e5, knight takes on e5, bishop to e2, preserving the light skilled bishop, queen to d7, f4, attacking the knight. Black to move, perhaps knight to g6 or knight to c6 comes to mind, do you agree? Maria Kursova surprised her opponent by playing Queen to h3. What a move! Sacrificing the knight! But Amalia Murillo didn't believe in a free gift and didn't capture the knight. Amalia Murillo played f3. Would you capture the knight or not? Have a good look. Let's have a look what will happen if pawn takes knight. If pawn takes knight, then knight to g4, threatening checkmate. Bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop check, king to h1, queen to f3 check, king to g1, bishop takes on e5, bishop to b2. It is clear that black has a draw by a perpetual check, but it is not clear how black can win. Can you win with black pieces? If you can, let us know how. So perhaps this was a bluff then, but this is easy to say after the game. Okay, so we have f3, knight to g6, bishop to d3, bishop to c5. 17 moves have been played and black is better. The reason? Black has bad activity to the pieces and white king is not very safe, is he? King to h1, rook from f to e8, pressure is on the pawn on e3. Knight to d1 defending, knight to h5, rook to f2. Perhaps the best try was trying to exchange queens. And one line goes like this. So this is not the only line. King takes queen. Bishop takes on e3. Bishop takes on g6. Otherwise, knight takes on f4 check, winning the bishop. So bishop takes on g6. Knight takes on f4. 
king to h1 bishop takes bishop on c1 bishop to e4 attacking the rook bishop to d2 bishop takes rook rook takes bishop this would be the best try by white okay in the game we have rook to f2 Nefron g takes on f4 should white take the knight or not Amalia Murillo didn't. She captured the pawn on h7 in the check. What happens if pawn takes knight? Then knight to g3 check. King to g1. Rook to e1 check. Bishop to f1. And then queen takes bishop. Check mate. So we have bishop takes on h7 check. Should black take the bishop or not? Of course not. We have to play by the rules. King, it, <laughs> king to h8, bishop to d3, rook from a to d8. Kursova totally mobilized her army. Bishop to f1 attacking the queen. Where is the queen going? What would you do if you had black pieces? Kursova doesn't retreat she only goes forward knight to g3 check king to g1 knight takes bishop rook takes knight rook to e6 rook lift the rook is coming to g6 rook to f2 rook to g6 check king to h1 it is black to move black play the move and white resigned what is the move maria kursova played rook to g2 and the mali murillo resigned in view of this continuation rook takes rook then rook takes knight on d1 check rook to g1 queen takes on f3 check Queen to g2. Queen takes queen, checkmate. Or if in this position, queen takes on d1, then queen takes rook, checkmate. What a brilliant game by Kusova. This is a treat for chess players who play queen's Indian defense. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.